So, welcome everyone. Good evening. Uh, I first want to take this time to thank everyone for joining us. Uh, I know it's late in the evening. Uh, there's probably uh, free beer being uh, given out at some of the trade show booths, but you guys have taken this time to uh, join us for our demo today, and uh, that really uh, means a lot to us, so uh, thank you very much. So, uh, my name is Brian Black here. I am the uh, Marketing Communications Director for Sega Sarnafil. Uh, I'm on stage right now with uh, John Jensen, Field Support Manager for Sega Sarnafil, and uh, Mark Geis. Uh, he is the Solar Director for Central Plan, who is our uh, solar partner in our uh, solar system here. So, what are we going to be demonstrating tonight? We're going to be demonstrating the Sika Solar Roof, uh, more specifically the Sika Solar Roof uh, mounting system. Um, what that is and why that's important, you know, people in here probably know themselves, I've seen solar panels before, I've seen racking systems before, you know, what makes this so unique, what makes this so special. So, uh, for us, you know, what we've done differently here is we've taken um, a roofing manufacturer, Sika Sarnaville, uh, and a solar installer, Central Plan, and we partnered together to develop this fully integrated uh, solar system. Um, and what we've done is we've looked at both what's important to a PV system and what's important to a roofing system, um, and things like making sure that there's no penetrations into the roofing system uh, when installing the uh, PV system, uh, and, but also making sure that the PV panels in the mounting system is fully secured on the roof, uh, keeping it from shifting and moving due to wind or seismic activity, uh, things of that nature. So, and because of that, because we have this partnership, what we are allowed to do is we also offer uh, a comprehensive warranty for this system. Uh, and that warranty is up to 20 years, and it covers both the roofing system as well as the mounting system. And it's one company, one warranty uh, by Sika Sarnfield. So, this is the audience participation part of our show here. Uh, I'd like to ask you guys, with a show of hands, how many people have been involved on a solar project uh, or a roofing project with solar system installed on it, but uh, here's the catch. The catch is that after it was installed, there ended up being an issue with the roofing system afterwards. Okay, great. Keep your hands up if the issue was that there was water leakage into the building after the uh, solar panels were installed. Okay, a few of you. How about the issue was the shifting of the panels on the roof, maybe making some damage into the roofing membrane itself? Yeah. So the reason I bring these two things up are because those are the two most common issues when it comes to installing a solar roof onto a roof uh, system. And the reason they're common is because Generally, when a solar installer goes onto your roof, he's not really concerned about the roofing system that's on there. He's not concerned about possibly the warranty that you have on your roof. So if something comes up and there's an issue, now you have a bunch of companies pointing their fingers at each other. Um, who's going to be paying for the damage? Whose fault is it? Um, the great thing about this system is you don't have to worry about that. Because it's one warranty, one company, um, you now don't have different companies worrying about that stuff. If something happens, it's now Sika Sarnfire. So that's my introduction right now. Uh, what I'd like to do is pass it off to John and Mark. And what they're gonna do is they're going to actually build uh, the mounting system here for you guys to take a look at it. You get to see how easy it is to put together. But more importantly, Mark is also gonna talk about why the parts and pieces of this mounting system were put together, because they're important the way, we, the way they chose which parts and pieces were used in this system. So, Mark, John? So, so when Sika stopped, set out to design a system that was safe for the roof and for solar, we partnered with them, they partnered with us, and with that goal, and this is really the result of that, this project. So, one very big aspect, one very big goal was to have a system that was easy to build, fast and easy to build, and accurate. Um, so the system overall is a modular system made of a building box that can be placed anywhere on the roof and they're prefabricated. Um, so the, the first thing on a, on a given project, the first thing that gets put up is this workbench. So this is a jig, basically. So the, all the pieces get lined up in exactly the position they need to be, so it really increases the accuracy, the speed, and the quality of the product that we build on the roof. 
Um, so I guess we'll just jump into it and start putting it together. I'm gonna do most. I'm gonna do more talking than filming. Okay. So another. So we, we say we want to be safe to the roof and safe to the solar. So this is really about being safe to the solar system. These are very strong extruded aluminum rails, kind of I beams that fully support each module. Honestly, there's a lot of systems out there. There's more and more systems out there now in the, in the solar world where they've gotten rid of the rails. Um, and it's the same cost, the same material, we use material. But we, and we still have a commitment to protect the solar system. So we, so this rail is very much a big part of our system as well. So then another big part of the system is the is the mount which we put on we put on the second. And so these are very strong mounts basically. They they set up the product from the ground and they also point it towards the sun. And they are modular as well. So depending on how much you need, how much strength you need from slow loads and wind forces, you can put more or less of these. There's, there's slots along this rail, so you can put three of them on, four or five, depending on what condition you need. So it's really about, let's design a system that's modular, can be configured to, um, you know, to the exact needs that's required for every project. And as you can see as well, these guys are standing up. We're at this workbench, very easy, very quick. Whereas, as you can imagine, if they were on the roof here, it would just be a lot harder build this in a lot slower. So the, the ability to prefabricate these building blocks, these tables as I call them, um, really adds to the accuracy, but as I said, the precision of this um, and the speed. Yeah, no, these are plastic. No, the rails are aluminum. These are plastic. Yeah. Very strong. It's a fixed slope, 15 degrees. Yes. So when you're balancing out putting a tilt, you know, having a tilt on a fixed solar system, the higher the tilt is, the less you can put on a roof generally, and the more wind forces are on it. So the state of the industry is, is you still want to be in this range, like 10 to 15 degrees is really the optimal range. So the key part of this assembly, we're going to put something in there. So, the, the key part of this assembly, the design of this assembly, is that it's both, it's a fully attached system and it doesn't penetrate the roof as we've discussed before. And the key element is this piece here. This is the part that we're very proud of. So this is molded by Sika. It's molded on the same PVC as the membrane. Um, so it's, we have a click and a pad. So the pad, this is the only thing that touches the roof. It's fully compatible. Sika has tested this, approved it, it's their material. Um, so, you know, and this is really what gives them, ability, gives them the ability to stand behind this product and divorce it. Um, and the key to the attachment part is that this part is actually heat welded to the roof. So, every one of these, there's six of them on this table, so there's a, there's a lot of them. Each part, this part of, the, of, the, of this product is actually heat welded to the roof. And the way that it's done in the same way as anybody would want to see, same equipment, same method, so it's, it's, there's nothing special about that. I'll do it. it needs to be done by a certified um, welder, of course, but it, 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 there's no rocket science to this. So, and then the next step is a clip. So really, this, this connects everything together, this clip that he's putting on now, he's going to put a few on. But this really makes it, and this is to me symbolic of what this is all about. This is an integral system. 
So it's not components, it's not a root component and then a mounting system and solar. You know, these are all, it's all on you know, the same product, right? So the, the click, which is moving, the PVC in the same material as the room is part of the system. It's then he will the room. So it's really, truly a solar system. Step after the clips are put on, these clips are put on, will be, is going to be the heat well. And John's about to do that. But another part of, of this, within the solar system, there's really two, two ways to point solar, solar panels. One is to face them south. So you would have rows and rows of this, like this, all pointing south. So another configuration, which is very common as well, is a dual tilt, or also called an east-west system, where you'd have two opposing sets of modules that are opposing each other, and they actually face east and west. So there are reasons, pros and cons of each, and there are reasons to do one over the other, um, and I can get into that if we want to talk more about that. But the, the, the thing is that our, this system, since it's configurable, since it's modular, and has these building blocks, can do both. So I can build this, if I'm prefabricating the table, I can lay these out along long rows, all facing south, or I can oppose them and point it in the east-west direction. So now you can really see the benefit of the rails. So you can see that, that these rails, you know, these are strong I beam, basically, fully support the model. Alongside. And that long side is the weak side. So to support that really shows commitment uh, to protecting the source. What can happen with systems that don't have rails, over time they can the solar, solar cells inside and get crack and crack, and micro crack, it's called, which reduces the durability of the system in the long term. The last part that goes on is the wind deflector. So this is, well, the, the purpose of this is to create an, a, an aerodynamic profile. So this product with the, with, with the wind deflector has been tested by a boundary layer wind tunnel lab um, with the most up-to-date methodologies for testing. And so we know exactly how the, the design of every project, what forces are on it, so we know how many you know, how, how much, how many clicks, how much all the product put together for every product. And this wind deflector is a big piece of it. And that's basically it. Yes? Is what? No. This? No, it's PVC. Oh, no, So what yeah. I'd like to do now um, is just do a quick summary of everything that we talked about, some of the things that you saw here, um, just before we open it up to questions. Um, so kind of to recap, the Sika solar roof system, it's a, uh, a non-penetrating, lightweight system that uses the Sika solar clicks um, as your attachment method to the roofing membrane. Um, these Sika solar clicks uh, are made from the same uh, formulation as the roofing membrane, which is important because then you don't have to worry about compatibility issues, you don't have to worry about putting on slip sheets between um, the mounting system and the roofing system to protect the membrane. Um, the other important thing is, we've said it before, uh, and we're going to keep saying it, which is this is a collaboration between two companies, which is why we're able to offer um, this, this integrated warranty that covers both the roofing system as well as the uh, mounting system for the solar. So it's one company, um, up to 20 years, Sika Sarnafil. Um, and that's about it.